That's not a knife. Oh, that's a knife. Anyway, stay tuned. Hey everyone, this is Kevin with Inventomart, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the uh, knife tool. In edit mode, you go over here, it's the knife here, or you can press the letter K, and it shows you how to, and basically it shows the uh, knife tool when you open it. But this is just a uh, knife that I made just now, I thought I'd make a knife for this episode. I use the uh, material, the uh, PBR dielectric, dielectric <laughs> from uh, the Blender Guru, Andrew. It's pretty cool material once you get it all set up. It's in the uh, Cycles engine, but for 3D printing and stuff like that, it's not really useful. But for like gaming and graphics and things like that, it's a pretty cool uh, material. You can make things look real, pretty realistic. It has to do a lot with the uh, Fresnel, or Fresnel, whatever you want to pronounce it. I think it's French, it's Fresnel. But anyway, I'm going to get started with the uh, main thing here. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, open a new file. Start with the display here. So the knife tool, what it does, basically, if you look, you have the... Uh, option down here. I usually click on it because K is on the other side of the keyboard and I use one hand on the left row side and the right hand on the mouse all, most of the time. The knife tool is it pops up and you get this little green cursor. And you can click wherever you want and you can press enter or spacebar when you're done to be able to uh, activate it. See that didn't quite do it right but But basically, you can cut up an object however you want to or you need to. And so then it gives you extra vertices to work with, especially if it's a situation where you need to have certain things, like something's out of dimensions or something like that. And down here, when you use the knife tool, it shows all of the commands. This is one of the few times where this switches to this. Like the first one is that's to confirm it. You can use enter, pad enter space to confirm. Escape or right mouse button to cancel. That's pretty much with everything in Blender. Uh, left mouse button, mouse button starts or defines the cut. So you just make regular clicking basically and double click closes it and the next one if you say you get the cut all the way like you want and you want to start a, another one press E and it starts another cut wherever you need it and then the next one is the uh, The shift, ignore snap, so it doesn't snap to anything. But if you hold down control, it snaps to the midpoint. Let me go to a different side here and show you. So if you go to the knife and then you want to start on this edge, if you push control, you could be anywhere along the middle area of the edge and it will snap to that. Same with up here. It's got to be somewhere close to the line. Actually, the whole way it works, but and you can dissect the center pretty much exact, and it creates a pretty good. It's really good for if you have a lot of uh, cubicle things like that, or if it's just like dissecting something down straight down the middle that goes around curves and things like that you can actually do that with it and another thing that it does 
if you press C, it does it on uh, 45 degree angles. It can go around like that. And it creates them, but if you don't close the loop, it leaves little extra vertices around that you don't want. And I think that was really all that the uh, options that the knife cut tool has. So let me go ahead and uh, make a new box here. Size it up. And I'm going to do the subdivision thing again. I should subdivide a bunch. And then I'm going to orthographic view. Let's go to the top. Whoop. A to deselect everything. And it doesn't matter which mode you're in. The tool will work the same with everything. If you go to knife and then hit control, you can go basically along the edges. Say you need to cut something out. Say, made a little boo boo there. Only problem with that is you kind of have to redo it all. But there it does that, then you can select that, select everything there. You can extrude it, bring it down or out. So basically, you can take a part and just cut out what parts you need. Let's see if you go into the uh, face mode and do the knife and hold control and go along the line. Actually, I don't know if it matters if it's in face mode or not. Let me try that in regular. That's something I didn't try before I started this. So if you go there. Okay, so it does do it in whichever mode you're in. And basically, if you. It doesn't do straight lines, it'll do like this. But you can. Uh, let go of control to get it to do a straight line. Let's try that again. So hold control, get this to be a straight line. If there's points along a certain path that do add up, like right here, these are all middle points. But if you need it to be a straight line that's not centered, Then you just let go of control and you can do it like that. And if you wanted to extrude just that, you would. And that's basically the kind of the gist of the basic knife tool. There's also the knife project. This one could be kind of useful. I don't really know if I'd really use it that much, but it's pretty interesting. It usually only works with two-dimensional objects that are flat. See, like this text that I have. And so to use the knife project, you select the first object and then the or the object that's going to do the cutting and then the object behind it that's going to be cut and it's important which angle you have your view in because it does it straight from the viewport to the object so if I wanted to cut it right now I'd cut the letters in as you see them on the cube right there so if you go into edit mode and do knife project see and it did it it's kind of like it burns a shadow into it basic kind of 
So when you do this, you want to do it on the straight on if you want it to be on there like this. So when you do that, you can, you can go back and delete the object. And now you have the thing in there. It looks like they're, it didn't do that quite right. But just for example, it doesn't always work. It's kind of a in the process type tool that Blender's they've been working on. But you can extract letters and it doesn't work with just letters, but it works with any object really. So if I wanted to make a it's like a circle and move it out. Oh, it's in line mode. <laughs> Wonder why it looks so goofy. So you got a really weird strange shape like that and you want to do the knife project you can do that with that it's kind of like its own little boolean type thing and you can extract that and, and it works on angles too so if we took this rotated it I wonder if it works in non-orthographic mode I haven't tried that yet so let's try it so select that one select that one and edit mode yeah it does So it works in both orthographic and perspective mode. So regardless of how you're looking at it, it'll project it as it sees it through the viewport. So when you're looking at it directly on, kind of cast that shape or shadow onto the object. But it doesn't work with like regular objects. Like if you had a cylinder, at least when I was trying it, it wasn't working. So if you take that cylinder, select it, then select the object, go into edit mode, hit knife project, yeah, the cylinder doesn't work for some reason. Try rotating it, see if that'll do anything. Nope. So that's kind of basically all the knife tool that I found that it really is useful for. You can even uh, cut around corners if you want. Like I'll go back over here to the clean side. If you want to just draw around and it goes around all the vertices and kind of does the same thing with whatever the view that you have. It cuts from there. But you can kind of hold down control and just click and drag. And it'll make more of a precise pixelated type cut. But it can be useful for all kinds of things. I'll, here I'll make an example of that, how it would be useful. I'll just do a, another cube again. Say we want just this corner here. And you see how it's not quite right like it's supposed to be? I mean, right there, there's that edge right here that should be there. 
like if you select both of those and press F, it'll create a line there. But the problem with that, if you go into face mode, there's one face for that. There should be two. So the F doesn't work for that. So the this is where you would want to use the knife tool. So you just select that. Select there. And then it splits it up properly. The uh, 3D printing tool, the distorted, kind of does the same exact thing. It just does it automatically. So if I undo that and go distort it, or not, which one was it? <laughs> no, it's not doing it. There it goes. This has to be enough of an angle. See, so it just did the same exact thing as the knife tool. But the knife tool is a better way to do it manually if you want to do that. It basically makes it so you can cut into an object if you need to. Like if I wanted to just go here. And just take this edge here. cats <laughs> wandering around. Goofy cat. Well, that doesn't work. Gotta select that too. Well, you can do all kinds of things. If you wanted to make that and go there. That way if you wanted to bring this up a little bit and still have that overhang, that'd be a good way to do that. But it has its uses. It's just depending on whatever project you're working on or whatever model you're making. You might use it, you might not. But anyway, that's pretty much it for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great week.